My name is Mary Tyson Lappin. I'm a weightlifter for one kilo. Um, and I'm going to go over a play-by-play -play on the national championships in Vegas from 2022. All right, let's check it out. First of all, I don't really like Vegas. I've been there like a handful of times. Well, now I've been there a couple times now and I don't like how expensive everything is. I don't like all the people. I like it quiet and dark when I sleep. So I'm already kind of like, oh, Vegas, okay. Also, I like had a weird thing about nationals because I did so bad in my first one. I went two for six and just was very sad. Um, so I don't love nationals already. I like ale final. I like ale finals in the other meets. Watching Olivia's giant, giant snatch. I'm about to open. I was, oh, I missed a warm up, which I don't usually miss warm ups. So I was a little bit like, I pretended like I was fine. I was like, oh, it's fine. I did, did this. I'm like, I'm like, shit. Like freaking out already. Um, I did have the best singlet at the meet, so that must count for something. So um, highest opener, so I made 116. We'll pause it for a second. Um, made 116. I was kind of freaking out when Will had mentioned I should open higher than 115. I've opened at 115 a couple of times, but I don't think I had made a snatch over like 112 like in the last couple of months before this. So I was like, yeah, 116 sounds good. Um, so made it. Felt okay. I was happy I made it after I missed a warm up. Um, I knew I'd be up next. I figured I'd be up next. Um, okay, what happened here? Uh, I thought I would take, what is this? Gosh, I don't even remember all of this now. 119. Um, I don't know why we went 119. Cause 115 to 120 is a big jump, that's why. All right, didn't feel heavy. Missed it. I figured I'd go to 120 because I lost it behind me. All right, Sarah's up. I'm like, I'm sitting in the chair right next to it, but I'm definitely like, I'm like this, but I'm like, like looking. I don't want to see it, but I have to see it. Um, and this is where I was like, wait, what? Because I feel like Sarah doesn't miss snatches and she missed it. And I was like, am I still in this? Like, I was like, Kind of freaking out about competing against her. I don't love competing against her. Why would you like competing against someone that's that good, right? Um, but she missed it and I was kind of like, huh. I was like, I did not see that happening. All of these scenarios I play in my mind, I'm like, that that probably wasn't gonna happen and it did. All right, next snatch, 120, okay, for sure makes it easy. Next one, I'm up. She's, yeah, she's surprised, or she's like, Going like this, of course. She knew she should have made it on her first one. Okay, I'm up 120. I feel like fairly confident here because I lost it behind me. So I was like, if I just sit in the bottom, I think I can make this just fine. Um, okay, going up. Let's see. 120 kilos. Had you I'm made also, that before? I made 120 in a local meet. And I've made it off of like in training, maybe like four times, five times. Oh, and it was so, I should have made it. The thing is, is it wasn't heavy. I mean, it was heavy. I'm not saying it's not even heavy. It was heavy, but I should have made it. I just need to put it in the right spot. I need more reps at that weight and get more confidence so I can make it. Okay, 125, Sarah. Again, I was like, did she just miss that? I don't know. She must have just fell off. I never even talked to her about it. We didn't talk about it. We're like buddies, but we don't talk like really in depth about training. I don't think we either one of us want to really talk about it with each other. All right, so she misses and I'm like thinking, okay, I can, I mean, I'm still in this, right? I'm thinking I'm still in it. All right, clean and jerks. Kenzie, she hits a big one. She's a, she's a nice girl. I'm glad she did well. Clean and jerks, switch my singlet. I gave that one away after I, because I got hurt, I had to get rid of it. Great singlet, awesome, awesome creator. Courtney made it for me, I just, I couldn't have it anymore. All right, Sarah opens at 150. I was, I was guessing something about that. I didn't think she would go much higher or lower. Clean, super easy, like normal. Um, good. Yeah, I pretty much expected that. I didn't expect much 
I expected like a 148 to 152 for her for opening and I expected her to make it. All right, I'm opening at 155. Okay, so this would have been the one that I would win, the meet. Um, I felt okay on this, not amazing, but I felt okay. Um, it looks easier than it felt. It always looks easier than it felt. Jerk looked good. Okay, done. Now I'm kind of freaking out because I'm like knowing I'm gonna have to go heavy, but I don't know that I'm ready to go heavy. Also, I'm thinking if she makes this, then I have to really go up because she beat me in the snatch by a bunch. So, makes the clean like normal, makes it look like butter, and we're a little bit forward. Um, I wasn't like super surprised. I feel like it's like hit or miss with sometimes with with jerks with these heavier weights with anybody. So I was I was ready for whatever. Um, takes it again. Not not a make. So now I'm thinking again. All right, I gotta go heavy. I might as well make this team. Might as well try to make this team. I am not very confident going into this. I wish I was. I, I also didn't think I'd win the meet, so I feel like I needed to be more confident in that. So I felt like I could go into this a little bit better. Uh, I can hear my mom in this. And here's where I get crushed. I don't know. I just caught it real toesy. Forward. I, I think I watched this like a bunch of times, like like the people in the background. Like I see like like Tim and I can't see Will really a little bit. Um, the referee or the technical official, the lady doing the announcing, Caitlin Kallmeyer, Kenzie, Greg, Holly, everybody's like, yeah. The, I think I watched that more times than I watched myself because I remembered like what it felt like. Um, but yeah. Everybody looks pretty surprised, but I had a couple of people say like when this happened, when I got up, they're like, oh, it's just fine. I was, I thought you were hurt, but you got right up. And so I knew you were fine. I'm like, oh, the alternative was that I lay there, which is what I wanted to do. And then I would have to have people like scrape me off the ground and carry me. Um, so I just, I got up. I'm tough, but I was definitely like scared and worried. Um, right here, walking off the stage, told Will, I was like, I don't think I can take my third attempt. Um, yeah. Real cringy face. Oh, stairs were the worst, actually. So that actually hurt a lot, like walking down the stairs. Even like for the last couple of months, even when it's cold now, my ankles like get kind of, like when I walk down the stairs, I walk down like I'm like a thousand years old. So that wasn't super fun, like walking down the stairs. So. Doctor did like a little examinations, like, okay, it's not your Achilles. I'm like, Whew. like I said, I was scared about that. So, um, yeah, then I just got really sad and was scared about what was going to happen after that. So, um, just put my shoes on, walked, hobbled around and just tried not to get too worried, but I was very worried and very sad and scared. So mostly I was scared at this point. I was scared that I had just like really screwed myself up. So luckily it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be at that time. But also when you hurt like that and it's feeling, when you feel that pain, you're not thinking about anything like healing. You're thinking about like, of course, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. So um, yeah, luckily it ended up not being as horrible as it could have been. My legs didn't hurt, my knees didn't hurt. Um, I think my legs are just like really strong and just like bounced right off and squished my tiny little ankles. I have real tiny ankles for my legs. So yeah, it's not a fun day, but luckily I can watch it now and not feel like super sad. So was that hard to watch? Um, it was hard, but it also like helped me understand why I was feeling what I was feeling. So like, I was like, I didn't really know what happened or what, where I got crushed. And actually Nat sent me the video, like from hook grip, like an hour later and like slow-mo so I could see that like it got caught on my belt and it almost like slowed down like from being caught on my belt which if it wouldn't have been caught on my belt I do wonder what would have happened if I would have like shattered both ankles because they were pointing out um but yeah seeing the video 
it was like, also it was kind of nice to have in a weird way because people were like, oh, you just sprained your ankle, you'll be just fine. I'm like, yeah, but look at the video. Like it didn't just sprain it, you know? Yeah, now it's like, I watch it and I'm just like, that sucks. But now I feel better so I can watch it and not be like super sad. But yeah, good day, good and bad day. And I still hate Vegas.